one. Rotate. Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another Flight Sim 008 video, and my new obsession, Leonardo's Fly the Mad Dog X in Prepare 3D 4.5. I'll get to the why and the where you've been a little later on in the video, but in the meantime, this flight will begin where we left off, in Skiathos, just off of Greece's east coast, and we'll fly over to Tevat in Montenegro, just on the other side of the mainland. It's just after sunrise here on a beautiful spring day, and I'm anxious to get in the air. So let's not waste any time and get set up for our short one hour flight. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is get some power on board. So let's turn the battery on. That would be uh, this little switch start hearing some of the systems come to life. Next thing we're going to do is call the ground crew. First we have to turn on the interphone uh, and we'll switch these on in preparation. Right hand, uh, right yes sir, mouse button to pull up the uh, really loud ground crew and we want to connect, connect the, the GPU please. Stand by. We'll also get some air in once uh, the ground power is connected which shouldn't be too long now. Do, 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 do. There GPU we go. You can see the exterior power available light, and we'll call for some yes, sir. Can air conditioning. Low pressure air, please. Stand by. All right, now that we have ground power. Autopilot. Yes. Good morning, Mad Dog. All right. Okay. Here comes pressure. Let's turn on our displays. Those are, I believe, these. Yeah. There we go. One interesting thing about the Mad Dog is uh, hang on. it's got kind of redundant screens. So if you only turn, or if one of them fails, it switches to the um, the main flight display on the bottom. And then once you switch it up, then that goes to the top, and you get your nav display on the bottom. Cool. So that's up. That's up on both sides. All right. We'll uncage the standby instruments over here. Sometimes it takes two pulls. There we go. All right, round you come. Cool, next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna look at our FMSs, FMCs, and uh, nav data is in date. And on one side we can go to uh, the ACARS menu. So I'll go here, ACARS. Uh, nope, that's not what I wanted. I want to go there, ACARS, and on this side we'll stay on here, so ident, everything looks good, position in it, uh, we are at LGSK, like a soul, and we'll put in the GNS into this FMC, like so, on this hand, uh, on this side over here, I'm going to bring up uh, the map, nav map, which is that one, uh, we'll leave the rest as it is for now, uh, gate. I believe we're at gate two. I'm not sure if it's in the system. Uh, no, not in that database. That's fine. All right. Uh, AOC free flight. So we need init data. Uh, we are VHLNI. So VHLNI. No. Okay. Uh, let's just put LNI. Oh, that, you know what? That that wants a number, doesn't it? No? Okay, that works. Uh, schedule date today. We are the 21st. We are going from LGSK to LYTV. YTV. There we go. Uh, estimated departure time. What time is it currently? Where's the clock in this thing? There it is. 4.35. So we'll make it... Uh, 515 ish, so that should give us enough time. No? Okay. We'll do 0515, like so. That works. Estimated en route is an hour and four minutes. Lest I make that mistake again, we'll do 
Right. So, there we go. Uh, a ATS flight ID will just make it number two. No, doesn't like that. Uh, LN2. Sure, why not? Airline ID uh, irrelevant. So that's in there. Uh, let's see, what else can we do? We can do flight log, reports, post flight requests. Let's do requests. We'll do a weather request uh, at LGSK. You know what? I need to start Active Sky. Stand by. Never mind, it was already started. All right, uh, LGSK, we'll do that, and LYTV. Not sure if it can do two. Yes, it can. Send. Turn. Uh, uh, flight plan. Press that. Oh, that loud chime you heard is... Uh, where is it? There we go. ACARS message. There's a light here that tells you when you have an ACARS message. You push to reset. You get that beautiful, annoying chime. You'll find that annoying chimes and sounds are a common theme in uh, this aircraft. Uh, so let's go see if we have uh, what our messages are. So we have a weather report. Uh, weather report at LGSK. Uh, winds are calm. A few clouds at 2000. 24, 13 is the dew point. 1012. Let's plug that in right away. 1012 and 1012. Set. And we have another message. Uh, let's see. Metar for LYTV is 170 at 9 knots. However, we're still going to do the fun approach because that one's way better. Crew message. Uh, preliminary weights. So we've got a zero fuel weight of 51.7. Let me just see if that uh, zero fuel weight, 51.7. Zero weight, CG, takeoff weight, 57. Mm, that's not what I had on my flight plan, but we'll see if that changes once we board and stuff like that. Uh, we do have a flight plan here. Uh, I made it uh, Fly UK 444 just in uh, uh, PFPX, uh, just because it needed a flight number. Uh, LGSK to LYTV via. Uh, well, that's the correct equipment. That's good. Uh, yeah, yeah. Takeoff weight 60.8. That looks more like what I had planned. Yes, 60.8. Good. Uh, block 6.3. Uh, we have 5.8. Uh, let's see. Release. Yeah, we need 6.3. We currently have only 2,600. So we're definitely going to have to refuel the aircraft. That's fine. Uh, zero fuel weight. Yeah, outside. Uh, top climb is minus 50. Good trip. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's all good. And we have our flight plan here. Fantastic. One of the things about this FMC, it does not and will not copy from your uh, received messages from your uh, data link uh, ACARS into the uh, flight plan, into the uh, yeah, the active flight plan. So we do have to do that manually. Manually, I have a created one. So LGSK. Uh, S where is SK to LY TV like so zero one I believe it was zero one might have just been one no nope. okay we're good so it's uh, direct TSL then the upper November one thirty to Talas uh, Mavar Retra and then Y four hundred to Pod and we'll do the uh, arrival after that so that looks good to me we will activate that perf in it. Okay, fuel on board. We need 6.3. 6.3 slash, uh, I believe it's J. Or is it N? No, it's N, sorry. 6.3 uh, slash N. That goes there. Our planned zero fuel weight is 54.7. 54.7. Point seven. That goes there. <coughs> Total reserve is 1.4. This is all in kilograms, by the way. Cost index 35 is fine. We are cruising at flight level 300. Cruise wind we don't have yet, but we do have the top of climb OAT, which was in the flight plan, which was uh, one of these pages, or maybe it was in one of the other messages. Uh, nope. Uh, minus 50, so we do... Minus 50, like so. 
do we have a cruise wind? <coughs> Taxi, no, no, none of you, none of you. Adis, blah, blah, blah. No, we don't. Okay, so I'll have to... Oh, wait. Uh, cruise at level 340. Well, it thinks we're going to 340. 256 at 48. That sounds about right, so we'll do 250 at 48. That should give us a decent enough. It's a short flight anyway, so it's not going to make that huge of a difference. Uh, so that's all in. And now we can have a quick look at our route on the ND. So let's bring that up. And we'll go into plan mode, which is there. And we'll go over here to our legs page. And we'll step through it. That all looks good. Navar, Retra, and Pod. Cool. We'll put in the uh, departure and arrival in just a second. I said the winds here were calm. However, at 3,000, they're out of 217 at 7. So we'll go off runway 19er. And what was our first waypoint again? Let's go back here. I don't know. Return. I know you're independent. You can do it. Uh, TSL. So we want this one niner, and there's the TSL one alpha. So execute that. See what it looks like on the old ND uh, legs. So I'll bring up the chart in just a second. We'll brief the departure in uno momento. Do we have radios on? We do. Excellent. So let's plug in 2000 on the old. Uh, Transponder, go to this, and we'll put in 2000, enter, that's good. Uh, that can stay on standby, that's fine. Uh, ch -ch -ch contest, 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 good. So, uh, I believe one is this one. I believe. 122.8. So, uh, uh, we'll uh, set up the rest of the radios in just uno momento. Uh, is this? No, that's the floods. I need that. Panel lights? There we go. Cool. And I believe there's one up here for the overheads. However, finding it is always a challenge. Uh, lights, 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 lights. If I were MD-80 engineers, I would probably put them here. There we go. Cool. And what else? Do we need any more lights? We can. We can, and we should, and we will. Uh, sweet. Okay, so we got our departure in. Um, we got our weights and everything. Let's open up some doors. One of the cool things about the Mad Dog now is uh, you can open the doors via click spots on the exterior view. So if I go to the exterior view, whoa, it's a little loud. We can. Eh, there we go. Nope. Yeah. All right. And do we need the rear door? Nah, not really. Actually, we're going to need the rear rear door in just a bit. However, let me just open up the cargo holds. You. And you, and you. By the way, if it looks a little brighter out, it's because uh, I took all my glory shots in the morning. Glory shots. Uh, my um, B-roll footage, if you will, in the morning. And it is starting to brighten up a little bit. You can see those nice reflections on the wings here. It's absolutely fantastic aircraft. I'm absolutely in love with the Mad Dog. All right, one thing about the rear door is you do need hydraulics to open it completely. So let's go back inside and we will turn on the that and that. You can see the hydraulic pressure is starting to build and now we can go back into the rear view. If you don't put the hydraulics on, this stair, this bottom stair part won't um, fold down essentially because it, it requires hydraulic power for that. You can see the flaps came up. So that's good. That's done. We will do with the cabin, the emergency lights test. So we need to, this goes on. Then we need to go to our radio and select the PA, like so, and like so. And then we can chime la cabine, uh, attendant with a right click, and we can do this. 
PA and emergency light test. She said, there we go. Emergency light's okay. Cool. So we can put that back to arm. Uh, and then from there you can start boarding and, uh, well, you can also do your stairs and, and whatnot that way. So let's call, oop, sorry, bang the mic, that might be loud. I will edit it out if it was. Uh, let's see, we can request catering, refueling, yeah, let's do refueling and then boarding. Uh, we'll do catering first. Uh, Aegean, sure, why not? Nostalgia! And then we'll do refueling as well. Very good. You know, it's integrated with uh, GSX Level 2, which I do own. Uh, however, I'm not entirely sure if it will refuel me to the correct uh, requested fuel, which was 6.3 tons. Uh, let's go back into here. Let's go back into A cars. Let's go back into here. Receive messages. Still only those three. Okay. We'll do the pre flight. We'll do the weight and balance. Uh, trip fuel, I need 6.3. You know, I probably should have done this. Uh, before, no, we needed, yeah, 6.3. I probably should have done this before I called the, uh, 26. No, we need, <laughs> I'll figure this out, don't worry. Trip fuel is 35. Like so. And taxi fuel is, I believe it's 180 kilograms. Like so. Send. I'm not sure, now that we've called for the refueler, if they're actually going to refuel to this level or not. You know what? Let's, let's, hang on. Reset, reset the position. There we go. Now, we will request refueling from Aegean, and we will request, uh, catering. So that's being done. I don't know if we're going to make our 515 slot. It depends how much we hurry up here. Uh, all that is good. This is good. So let's brief the departure. All right, so the Thessaloniki 1 uh, Alpha departure is as follows. Off runway 1-liner or 2-0. Uh, we are climbing on a heading of 194 to 2000. Then it's a left-hand turn at a maximum of 210 knots to the Scopolos VOR. So let's put that in. That's on 113.4. So we'll put Scopolis in here on 113.4, like so. And it is an inbound course of... It's basically just direct to. Uh, any heading? No. We are on a initial climb of uh, uh, flight level 70, which will be in the altitude window. Come on, you remember all this. Uh, the initial runway heading is 194, so we'll plug that in, 194, 194, like so, we'll get the speeds in a bit, and then from Skopelos, we're going to make a left-hand turn, uh, outbound radial 33, no, sorry, inbound radial 336 to Thessaloniki, VOR, which is on 112.1. And that is a inbound course of Y side three three six. So that's done. So basically straight to co uh, so yeah runway heading one nine four that's in there up to two thousand, uh, which we can I guess put in. Can we put in our decision height? I don't think so. Uh, no, I'm not scrolling all the way up to two thousand. So we'll just remember it. That's fine. Uh, so yeah, up to 2,000, then a left-hand turn, max 210 knots to Skopelos, and then from Skopelos up to Thessaloniki VOR, and then on course. The transition is, uh, 4,000, transition altitude. Uh, we're not that far off of standard anyway. Okay, so that's all set. Let's, uh, have a quick look and see how they're doing with the catering and the fueling. Uh, they did actually, GSX level 2 did actually fuel my aircraft to 6.25. That is absolutely fantastic. Didn't actually know it would do that. Uh, so we've got that, we've got that, we've got that. Okay. 
Uh, let's call for boarding. And where's the pack signs on this thing? I do remember them being somewhere. Eh, here we go. Uh, so their fueling should be done. Let's have a quick look. Yep, fuel truck's gone. Cool. So we'll put on the no smoking sign. We'll put on the seatbelt sign. And we'll get uh, the flight attendants to start the boarding process. I don't know if that will call up GSX level 2. Hey, cars message. Uh, I don't know if that'll prompt GSX level 2 to uh, start boarding. I don't think so. We might have to do that manually, but let's see what the load sheet. Uh, let's see. Zero fuel weight, 52. Blah, blah, blah. Next page. Takeoff weight, 58. Takeoff weight, I'm shrink, 60.8. Hmm. All right. Well, you know what? We'll um, we'll wait till it's done boarding before. Well, we'll acknowledge it now. Did get load sheet. Yeah. We'll acknowledge it. We'll see what happens uh, when uh, you know what. We'll plug these valleys in first. So load sheet. Uh, it was a uh, blah, blah, blah. max zero fuel weight. Max takeoff weight was 14. So we can plug that into here. 14. The other way, you can do it. Like so. And we're departing with flap. Uh, let's do 11. Sure, why not? So plugging those two in there will give you your long trim, which you'll have to set your stabilizer to. We'll get that to that once uh, we're a little bit closer to departure. Uh, let's check the crossfeed valves. These are the pneumatic crossfeed valves. Go ahead and open those up. Uh, what else? Landing, 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 landing. Uh, let's have a quick look at the weather at our destination. Uh, while I pull up Active Sky here. Uh, destination, the elevation is 20 feet, so we'll leave that on zero. Landing barrow is 1014. So that can go up to, let's see, 1, 2, 1, Three, one, four, like so. Uh, we'll do that. There we go. That'll shut that off. Uh, let's see. We can do a stall test. Stall. Stall. Annoying and working. Stall. Stall. Annoying and working. Uh, windshield. That's fine. That's all fine. That's all fine. You know, <laughs> one of the things I love about this aircraft is usually you can do, like, rows and, and, like, top to bottom and do the columns on any other aircraft. However, <laughs> with this one, it's kind of just, uh, let's put buttons and switches wherever we can, and if we forgot something, we'll just shove it somewhere else. Uh, so that's on, that's on, that's good. Uh, galley power should be off. That's fine. Emergency lights are armed. Those signs are on. I don't think we're actually boarding. We are not, so we will call up GSX to do such things as those. Uh, request boarding. There we go. I'll we'll wait till that's done. Go ahead and lock the flight deck door. Uh, we don't need any of that yet. Airfoil, no, no. Anti ice, no. Okay. Uh, supply, that's fine. We can, I suppose. Oh, she's calling. What does she want? That's fine. Um, we can, I suppose, turn on the APU, so we'll need a fuel pump for that. Let's just turn them all on. I think it's the forward left, but don't quote me on that, because it's, uh, yeah, been a while. Uh, let's see, the APU, I know it's around here somewhere, here it is. Watch the gauges above. I can't take my finger off the mouse, but here's the APU gauge and the EGT for the APU. You have to hold it for until like 40-ish. Let's find out. 40-ish. I think it may just have closed the front door because I had it open, but that's a, a known GSX issue. It can't read the state of the door before... Uh, call onto it or something like that. Anyway, EGT looks good. APU is on. 
APU power is available. Uh, we'll get the uh, cabin supply on like so. And then we will uh, fire agent air on. Is that how we're supposed to do it? No? Um, hmm, why can't we get... Oh, maybe because the... Um, uh, what's it called? The ground air is connected. Let's, let's see if that does a difference. Mechanic. Uh, yes, disconnect sir. Disconnect air conditioning. You're clear to disconnect. Thanks. The flight recorder being off, by the way, um, it's actually in the current build that I'm on. Uh, it's been deactivated in terms of uh, logging the flight and all that. But essentially what you would do is uh, day. So today we're the uh, 20th, I believe. 21st, I think I said the 21st of May. Uh, we're flight number, let's call it 21, and we're like two. Uh, you put the flight recorder into ground test. You have to hold it. I'm quite sure. No. Hang on. Ground test. Hold. There we go. So it's in ground test. Then you insert that. Then you have to insert, I believe it's your weight, followed by three zeros and then something. And then you press again. So uh, the drying weight was like 52. Uh, and then three zeros. And then the last one is going to be something, something, something. And then you press insert again. And then you flip that back up to that, and you're done. Uh, but again, in this current build that I'm on, which I think is one or two uh, behind the current version, is uh, it's it's not enabled. I'm not sure if they're going to re-enable that or not, but it was causing performance issues from what I understood. Um, so that's why they, uh, they took it off for the time being. Uh, let's see if I can get... I just want some air. Can I get some air? Oh, there we go. Okay, so with the uh, pneumatics reopened, we got some air conditioning pressure to the cabin. Let's have a quick look outside. Okay, everybody's on board, so what we'll do is we will transfer over to the APU buses. There we go. And we'll turn these off. Uh, up here, we will turn off external power and we'll call our mechanic. Yes, sir. And disconnect that. You're clear to disconnect. Yes, sir. Thanks. Well, we can actually do that just to make You're sure. You're clear to disconnect. Cool. Thanks. That's all done. So now we're on APU power. Let's go through the uh, crew checklist. Flight recorder, we kind of tested. Uh, HRS alignment is fine. FMS GPS is set. Uh, emergency lights are armed. Uh, windshield anti-ites, we need to switch on. Uh, windshield on. Well, we'll do both. It's fine. Uh, engine sync selector is off. That's the art. Engine sync. Engine sync. Uh, I believe that's on the upper uh, on the overhead somewhere. Stand by. I will find it. Found it. Up there. All right. Back to the checklist. Uh, so that's off. Uh, stall warning. We tested air conditioning. Shut off switch is on auto. That was around here somewhere. That one's on auto. That's fine. Uh, fire protection system trip tested. Fuel quantity is checked. Altimeters checked. Uh, 
fuel shut off lever is auto. Cabin pressure cabin pressure lever is in auto. Uh, that's uh, that one there. Cool. Before start, parking brake set. Hang on, we can do that. I believe that's set. Just want to make sure. Uh, pneumatic pressure, PSI, yep, engine ignition, says A or B, so we'll go with A today. Uh, tank pumps are all on, anti-collision lights, good point. Good point checklist, this is why we do checklists. Anti-collision light is on, uh, where was I? APU norm, econ switch is to norm, that is, oh, aha, uh -huh. I turned it off, there we go. Uh, let's see, emergency lights, uh, where is the APU econ, uh, was, I, I remember seeing it, oh, there it is, it's, uh, set to normal, good, 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 uh, air conditioning supply switches go off, so, cut off the air to the passengers for just uno momento, por favor, uh, pneumatic, uh, levers are both open, that is checked, and thrust levers are at idle. Let's just make sure these work. Yep. Uh, so that's before start. And we can go ahead and start loss engines. So system A, we'll turn the start pump on. And we'll start the left engine. We have to hold that. The two is rising. One of the quirks about this is you really have to let N2 get up to, uh, to speed. I think it's about 20 before you put the uh, the fuel in. Or maybe it's 22, I'm not sure. Either way, fuel goes in. And we have EGT rising. Got N1 rising. And that's one good start. We'll let it spool for just a bit. Gonna turn on the flight directors in the meantime. You and you. So that's one start. We'll go ahead and kill the starter and off to number two. Fifteen, sixteen. Come on, you can do it. Twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two. go. EGT rising. Just monitor that. This thing will absolutely fail on you or surprise you or whatever on a start, so it's definitely something you have to watch. Alright, that's set. Cool. We can turn that off. We can turn that off. We can turn that off. Uh, we can ditch the APU. Uh, that goes off. We can turn these back on. Back on. Uh, could turn the pedo heat on. The yaw damper, which is that guy. Now we can turn the hydraulics on. They must go to high for our departure. Like so. Uh, we'll turn our transponder on. T A R A. We'll go ahead and give it a test. Testing there. TCAS system test. Okay. Cool. I'm going to start that clock, by the way, uh, since we've started up. Uh, we can turn the weather radar on, assuming the ground crew is uh, out of the way. Tilt that up a little bit. We'll do four degrees up. <coughs> uh, what else? What else? What else? Do, 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 do. That's all there. That's all done. After start, engine ignition selection is off. Pedo and static heaters are on. We need the anti-skid, uh, which, uh, should probably have put that on earlier, not sure why I didn't. Uh, floodlights, swing the cell, the anti-skid is, I remember it being somewhere on the right hand side. I will find it. Uh, anti-skid, 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 ice, no, no, I'm probably looking at it, aren't I? 
you're probably pointing at your screen right now. You're like, hey, it's over here. Hey, flight sim, it's over here. Uh, you don't need that. I was looking almost at it. I even hit the attendant call button right after. Okay, so that's everything off except for parking brakes, so we're good. Uh, the doors, uh, cue light is checked off. Uh, I think that's somewhere around here. You know what, we'll just say it's checked. Uh, let's see, na -na -na -na. door, hydraulic system, checked and set. All right, so let's set some flaps and our trim. So we want flaps, uh, I believe it was 11 we said, didn't we? Yeah, we said 11. So scroll this one up to 11. Like so. And then we will set the flap lever. One, two. I think it's three. I always mess this one up. But you know what? There's an easy way to tell. Stabilizer. Yeah, okay. Stabilizer's not set yet. That's fine. So we'll do... Whoop. Almost knocked over my coffee. We'll do... By the way, I was gonna edit that out, but if I have to listen to it, so do you. So, tough luck. And yes, she will scream at you the entire time you're doing that. Okay, uh, let's just give it a quick... Okay, PA is doing her thing. Uh, what else? Oh yeah, we can set a reduced NP takeoff, and we'll check all of our stuff. So, the way you do that in the Mad Dog is you turn the art off, like so. Then you go to Takeoff Flex. And you can set your temp over here. So we're going to do a temp of 50, since we're quite light. It's still going to be plenty of power. Uh, I don't believe we did our takeoff yet. So we've got that here. Takeoff, flaps 11, 119, uh, 133, and 142. Another thing I love about the Mad Dog is you literally just uh, click... I forget where the... There it is. No, I had it. Uh, 119, 133, and 142. Well, we have 114. Those laid on. And we'll bring... That's already all the way in. Okay. So, taxi plan. There is very little in the ways of taxiways here. That's Gatho, so we're going to have to go onto the runway all the way to the end, turn around, and take off. Everybody else happy with that? I'm happy with that. Let's do it. Master Caution, that's the art in op. That's fine. We need that for the reduced thrust. Alright, we'll put the strobe lights on. Make sure we're visible to everybody. And all the way down the runway we go to the far end. Turn around and depart. So it's up to 2,000, then a left-hand turn direct uh, for uh, Scopolis, and then direct to Thessaloniki.
coming up to the end of the runway here. Uh, we'll extend the landing lights. A little bit of a dab of brakes, just to slow down a tad. Let's see if I can screw this, or if I can try not to screw this up and take out any of the runway edge lights. Although it is me we're talking about, so I'm probably hitting all of them. Thunk, 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 thunk. There they go. Sorry. We'll pay for those when we come back. We're not coming back. All right. Full left tiller. Gonna add a little bit of power because she doesn't like that. Straighten out the nose gear a little bit. Look at the reflections in the flight deck here and the shadows and everything. PBR interior. Love it. Love the Mad Dog, in case you hadn't noticed. And we'll take out some more runway edge lights. Thunk, 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 thunk. Yep, yep, yep. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Coming off the power. And we'll straighten out here. What is passenger comfort? These can come on. We're lined up here. I'm dab of brakes. Make sure everything's set. All right, everybody else ready to go? I certainly am. I've uh, lowered the uh, EPR uh, reduced takeoff just because I don't believe in my own calculations. But other than that, well, I think we're ready to go. So without further ado, here comes the power. Hold the brakes, hold the brakes, hold the brakes, hold the brakes, hold the brakes. On EPR 42, let go of the brakes. Takeoff thrust set. Checked. Clamp. Clamp. 80 knots. Cross check. Even still, I'm doubting my EPR takeoff. I think we might make it. Rotate. Rotate. A little bit more aggressive than usual because the end of the runway is coming up pretty quickly. And we're off. Positive <laughs> rate gear up. Lights out. Checked. And this thing does climb like a rocket once it's airborne, even with a reduced thrust. So I'm just going to hold it right about here. Oh, lovely trimmed out, by the way. A little bit of down. We'll hold the speed. We're looking for 2,000 before we start the uh, left hand turn towards Scopolis. 1500. The speed's looking good. Everything else is looking good. Lovely view. 1900 and 2000. So, I uh, want to hit nav again, maybe? Come on. Find the nav track. No? Alright, well, whatever. We're going to make our left hand turn anyway. I'm going to go ahead and hit climb power. Our left hand turn Line towards uh, Scopolis. Despite what the FD wants me to do, my speed is getting a little low. I'm going to pitch down a little bit since we reduced the thrust. I'm actually going to follow the magenta line rather than the uh, actual flight director. A little bit more left. Ah, here it comes. There we go. It figured out it wants to turn. We're good. Everything's good. A little bit of up trim in the turn. A little bit more aggressive of a turn. Look at that. Beautiful. Love the scenery and terrain around here. An eye on what we're doing. Gonna ease off the back pressure a little bit and let the aircraft uh, slowly start to accelerate. And with that, we'll bring up the flaps. Flap zero. Checked. All over the place in terms of uh, my pitch, but that's fine. Coming up to 5,000. See if I can take, off, take my hands off the joystick long enough to scroll it up a little bit. 
We'll go right through seven. I'll set standard in just a second. On our left side, we should be able to see the island. We can't. There's a pillar in the way. I'm going to bring up uh, the ND because I can't see anything over the yoke. And we'll level out the turn right here. I'm going to apply some generous downward trim. That was a little too generous. There we go. And with that, I think what we'll do... No, that's not what I wanted to do. Uh, we'll turn on the autopilot for now. There we go. And we want definitely more than that. Let's do... Uh, well, let's do... VNAV. Yeah, there we go. Nav track, VNAV climb, FMS EPR. We're in climb mode. That's good. We can turn the art back on. Scroll this up to 30. And in just a second, we'll bring the slats in. There is Scopolis. Next stop, uh, Thessaloniki. We will sync up the heading. Zoom out a little bit. Do we even have Thessaloniki on here? Uh, yes, we do. TSL. Let's see if the VOR matches. Uh, we want Arc. Yep. Beautiful. Sweet. Alright, landing lights can come out. Those lights as well. Uh, we can disarm the speed brake. This can go back to off. Um, 112.1. And 336. Let's see how that's doing. Marvelous! Oh, look at that. Right on. Right on the money. Look at that view. Hang on. Wow. Look at that. Gorgeous.